Hey everybody, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. It'll really help me out a lot. So I just sat down at my desk trying to drink my favorite cup of coffee when my phone blows up with users complaining that the network is being slow. They're saying that this application they're trying to access is not responding and they need me to fix it fast. So I bring up my network monitoring tools and I start looking around to see if I can find an, an explanation of what's happening. I spent one hour trying to determine root cause and I couldn't find anything. Time is running out and I need help. Now I'm sure this has happened to you before, where you get completely stressed out trying to find some anomaly on the network to explain why this mission critical application is not performing. Nothing is worse than when you have your manager and your end users asking you every five minutes if you've solved the problem. The reality is IT teams are siloed and have limited visibility with the tools that they use. Tasks are performed manually, which consume way more time than they should. As IT professionals, we are expected to troubleshoot and remediate problems quickly, but that's easier said than done. There are many reasons why applications fail. The application could be down, it could be a network connectivity issue, it could even be cloud-related. Now, with so many different possible scenarios, how are you gonna be able to find out where the problem is? Okay, so Cisco has a really cool solution to this problem, and it's called Nexus Dashboard Insights. So what is Insights and what does it do? With Nexus Dashboard Insights, you can automate, monitor, and analyze your data center fabric in real time. It provides actionable insights into how to fix the problem before it happens. Some of the great features of Insights are alerts for anomalies and advisories, delta analysis, compliance assurance, pre-change analysis, now that we understand what Nexus Dashboard Insights is, how does Insights do all that cool stuff? I asked my friend Gerald to help demonstrate this awesome solution. So let's go ahead and take a look at Nexus Dashboard Insights in action. Hey Gerald, can you tell us a little bit more about Nexus Dashboard Insights? and the different services that run within Nexus Dashboard? Sure, yeah, we're going to look much deeper at what Nexus Dashboard Insights can do, but at its core, what Nexus Dashboard is all about is giving us literally insights into what the network is doing. So it will, it will monitor different telemetry sources from inside the network and even outside the network, and it will deliver that telemetry to us in an actionable kind of a format and give us, like I said earlier, the actual insights into what the Nexus gear and the uh, data center network is doing. The other thing that's important there, and I wanted to answer this part of your question as well, is what other applications or services can we run inside a Nexus dashboard? And you can see here on this screen in our demo environment that we also have Orchestrator, we have Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller, which is a controller mechanism for data center network components, Nexus 9Ks. And we also have a component called Nexus Dashboard Data Broker. We can cover those in further videos if you would like, Doreen. I think that sounds great. Let's make a few more and talk about them. Yeah, cool. So let's hop into Insights. Okay, this is the initial screen that we get when we load up Nexus Dashboard Insights. And this gives us a high level overview of everything that we can see in this data center. What I wanna talk about today though, is the way that we actually use insights to gain insights into what our data center is doing. And we get that via a concept that we call anomalies. So the key really for this is to understand when we have problems or potential problems inside of our network. And an anomaly is, exa is, is exactly as the word is defined. It's something that deviates from normal, what Nexus dashboard believes should be normal inside of the data center network. So what we can see here in this anomalies view is all of the different anomalies that are impacting this environment over the last two hours. And we have a lot of different severity types, critical, major, minor, informational. We also have different categories that we can look at. And we'll look at a few of these as we walk through the rest of this demo. 
Okay, so I have a question for you, Gerald. I have a bunch of rules that I set up within my environment, and I also have SLAs that I need to abide by. Is there a way that Nexus Dashboard Insights can tell me if my SLAs are being met and if the rules are being followed that I created within policy? For sure, yeah. In fact, this category that we're gonna look at next is compliance. So inside of compliance, we have the ability to sort of set these rules up that will validate your rules that you have inside of your ACI fabric. So keep in mind that Nexus Dashboard Insights is separate from ACI. ACI has a controller called the APIC, and inside that APIC, we can build rules that say, these devices should talk to these devices, or these devices should not talk to these other devices inside the network. And we can validate those rules using compliance rules inside of Nexus Dashboard Insights. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. We're looking at, do we have requirement violations or rules violations? Um, and what would, would be, we be violating here? So we have configuration compliance, but we also have SLA type compliance. And an SLA, keep in mind, is a service level agreement, right? It says these two devices should always be able to talk to each other, whether that's on a 5.9's basis, 24-7, whatever. It is this, this uh, idea that these devices should always be able to talk to each other. And that's what this, this part of Nexus Dashboard Insights can actually determine for us. Will they talk to each other? If not, what is breaking them? If they, if they cannot, what's breaking the rule that we have there? This is an important concept that we'll utilize in uh, what is coming up here when we get to um, the Delta analysis piece and the, uh, the next piece that we'll talk about after that. So in Delta analysis, what we can do is Nexus Dashboard Insights actually uses a terminology underneath the covers called a time series database. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to take a look backwards in time. I like to call it the network DVR. So we can look back in time and we can see what the network looked like, what the state of the network looked like yesterday or 10 days ago or so on and so forth. And we can even do comparisons. So that's what this Delta analysis piece is, is doing for us. It will compare what did the network look like yesterday compared to what does it look like today. And we can determine if there are new anomalies, if there are new problems that were created inside of this network during that period of time. Okay, now what about testing my configuration before I deploy it? So basically, I think we all do this as network engineers. We start thinking we have the configs right, we went ahead and documented everything, we dotted our I's, crossed our T's, we deploy a config, and then all of a sudden something breaks that we didn't consider. Is there a way within Nexus Dashboard Insights to find out if something will go wrong when I deploy my configuration before I deploy it? Yeah, I, I was actually in that role at one point in time in my career and not knowing when I'm in a maintenance window what this what this what these changes are actually going to do was something that was very problematic for me, right? It's it's problematic for many of our customers. So yeah. what, what, what would it look like if we could see into the future and we could see that during this maintenance window, we were going to implement these changes into the network and this is how it was going to affect the overall health of the network. That would be phenomenal, right? I think so. And we can do that within uh, Nexus Dashboard Insights. We have a tool here called Pre-Change Analysis. And what Pre-Change Analysis will do is it will allow us to import the changes into the analysis when it gets ran. And we can say, I want to compare it to a state in time, either in the past, like we were talking about with Delta Analysis, or I want to compare it to the present state of my network. And what I can do then is I can make very uh, understandable um, have have very understandable knowledge as to what changes will actually occur in my network and how they will affect the overall health of my network from a Nexus Dashboard Insights perspective. What I mean by that is if we were to open one of these and take a look at it, we can see that these are the changes that I want to do to my network during my maintenance window tonight or whenever I'm going to do these changes. And I can take these, I can import them into the pre-change analysis tool and you can see I have a, a couple of changes here. And then I can run a Delta analysis against this. And the Delta analysis tool will actually show me what new anomalies I might create with this, what an old anomalies that I might fix with this, and any other changes that might happen inside of this network. So with this change in particular here, 
I can see that my anomaly count will actually go up because what this is, is this is showing us the common anomalies in the middle, the, com the, the anomalies that were from the earlier or the snapshot that we're taking, whether that was in the past or the, the current present tense of the network, and what will happen from anomalies perspective in the future. And so what we can see here is in our critical anomaly type severity, we can actually see that we'll get three new anomalies from doing this change. If we click on this, we can actually come down to the bottom and we can dig into what are those anomalies. So this is going to show us that we're going to get a configuration compliance, which is what we were just talking about earlier. We're going to break some compliance rule that we've set up by making this change in the network. So that may be something that we want to not do during that maintenance window. We may want to analyze and figure out what's going on here and we can double click on this. We can do, do a little bit of a deeper uh, dive into what this anomaly is actually telling us. The other information that we can see here is health information about uh, the other resources that live that, that Nexus Dashboard Insights is actually monitoring. So you can see other information here. We don't have any changes here actually, uh, so we should be good with this outside of this configuration compliance issue. If we dig a little bit further in this, we can actually do a compliance analysis of what this pre-change, uh, this, this required change would do to our environment as well. And this actually spoiler alert this is the same thing that we were just looking at earlier because we could see those compliance anomalies that were coming up this will give us the compliance analysis view for those same anomalies that we were seeing earlier so you can see that we have configuration compliance violated and this is how it would affect it and then we can even explore what the network would look like after we make this change so if we make a significant change in ACI and we change a bunch of contracts and the way the policy works inside of ACI we can actually do a uh, get an understanding of what objects can talk to what other objects inside of this new uh, virtual world of, of what our fabric would look like in a future state if we were to make those changes. So all of that kind of encompasses what pre-change analysis can give us. And one thing I want to sort of leave you with as we're um, tidy, tying this conversation off is some other capabilities that Nexus Dashboard Insights can give us. As you can see, we touched on three um, kind of capabilities at a pretty high level, but you can see there are much, you know, many other things here. There's a lot of other capabilities inside of this platform that I would love to uh, come back and talk to you and your viewers about at some point in time. I would love that. That sounds great. So we'll get together and produce some more videos. And the only way you'll know about these new videos is if you subscribe to TechLam TV. So go ahead and subscribe. Nexus Dashboard Insights simplifies IT operations by allowing engineers to quickly determine root cause with early remediation. Increase operational efficiency. Simplify and automate tasks. Widespread infrastructure visibility. Proactively detect anomalies. Cisco.